Hi Leo, this is your January 31st through February 6th weekly tarot reading. I usually do five separate spreads in my weekly readings, but since we are entering Mercury retrograde, I figured that if uh, an X spread comes through as I'm shuffling and asking for some uh, new love coming towards you, then I'll just work with that. And that's what happened here. We have an X coming back into your life, a significant X. I'll still do the other spreads, uh, the uh, work, business and finances spread. I'll do a uh, couples spread and uh, I'll do what you're not expecting to happen this week's spread. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. So here's what we have in the first spread. We have the Knight of Swords, we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Empress, we have uh, the Ten of Cups, then we have the Ace of Wands clarified by uh, the Lovers and the Star, and we have uh, the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You're most likely dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. The Knight of Swords is an Air Sign indicator and so is the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. And uh, in the outcome we have a card for a Gemini and we also have a card for an Aquarius. Right, so this Knight of Swords is uh, the person coming back into your life. Uh, the next card that came out is the Six of Cups. This is uh, somebody coming back from the past. This is also a soulmate card, but I strongly uh, feel that this is somebody you already know. Um, it doesn't have to be somebody you used to uh, be in a relationship with. It's possible that this is an ex, but it could also be somebody whom uh, you wanted to be in a relationship at some point in the, in the past, but it, it just didn't work out for some reason. Perhaps uh, you were in different uh, places in your life, you were going through different stages of your life, and uh, here they come and uh, I think this time around it's going to work out. If this is an X coming back into your life, this will also work out. This is actually an amazing spread. So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Empress. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress could uh, symbolize somebody uh, you were married to or you were in a committed relationship with. The Empress is... Um, <clears throat> abundance in its purest form so it doesn't have to be a person right uh, it could just symbolize that this time around it will definitely work out because whenever I see the Empress in my spreads it's usually a sign from above for this relationship or for this connection to move forward and speaking of moving forward we have the Ten of Cups that came out next the Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or families. If you take a closer look at the Ten of Cups, we have a couple of adults and we also have a couple of kids jumping around. So if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could be starting a full-blown family. The Empress, by the way, also is about somebody who is expect expecting a baby. Because <laughs> this, uh, this card is the mother of the tarot deck. Um, like I said, we have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's possible that the two of you have been spying on each other, keeping tabs on each other, or the Page of Swords is a communication coming from this person, uh, especially if this person is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Right, in the outcome we have the Ace of uh, Wands, clarified by the Lovers and the Star. Uh, the Lovers is the personal Gemini card, and the Star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with one of those signs. But if we want to look at those uh, cards all together, especially with the uh, Ace of Wands that's also in the outcome, this is a very passionate new beginning. And it's that type of a beginning where uh, the universe wants you to be together. Because the lovers in this particular spread, if it's not a Gemini, then this person is the love of your life. This card is also a soulmate card and uh, it could be a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames, right? And uh, like I said, the Six of Cups, uh, the second card on the left, is also a soulmate card. So this just pretty much confirms the uh, how important, how significant this connection is. The star is either an Aquarius you're dealing with, or the star, the two of you healing, the two of you getting back together. And uh, the star is also about a wish come true. And it's usually the type of wish that we wish for or hope for for a very long time. So, yeah, it almost feels like the universe was waiting for this Mercury retrograde for the two of you to get pulled back together, right? Or, like I said, if it didn't work out the first time around, if the two of you sort of 
started seeing each other but uh, you were like no I can't do it right now I'm too busy or I have to go I have to move I have too much work you know this time you're definitely going to go ahead and uh, end up in a committed relationship or even marriage actually marriage is all over the spread with the Empress and the Ten of Cups the lovers the star it's all here all the ingredients are here for a successful long-term committed relationship or even marriage so um, yeah I'm not gonna do an extended for you Leo because uh, it's pretty obvious where this relationship is heading it's heading towards this uh, star-crossed connection I can't stress it enough how important how significant this person is we've got uh, quite a few major icona cards here the Empress the lovers and the star and those are amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together and then we also have the ten of cups and uh, the ace of wands this is it I'm really happy for you Leo congratulations Leo if you are already married or if you are in a relationship this spread is for you we have the six of cups clarified by the seven of wands we have the ace of pentacles then we have the page of swords clarified by the four of cups we have the seven of swords clarified by the five of pentacles and we have the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck alright so um, you will have somebody come back from the past this week and uh, this is probably related to mercury retrograde but uh, the bad news for whoever this person is is that you are already in a relationship or if you, or you are already married this person is going to throw everything they've got at you they will promise you anything and everything but uh, you are going to reject this person because you are already happy with the person you are currently with and uh, that will put this person into a very miserable type of a depression I guess anyway so the first card that came out is the six of cups this is somebody coming back from the past and it's clarified by the seven of ones the seven of ones I think this is your energy um, you are going to fight this person off you're standing your ground you're protecting your marriage or your relationship right and uh, you're not letting this person back in however the next card that came out is the ace of pentacles this is the offer coming from that person like I said they will throw everything at you they could even propose to you they'll tell you you know what let's get married if you if you're in a relationship right now or if you're married right now they'll tell you know divorce them and then we'll definitely get married something among those lines <laughs> and uh, then we have uh, the page of swords clarified by the four of cups in this spread uh, the page of swords I think is uh, your energy and uh, if you take a closer look at the page of swords this is somebody who is in defense right this person is leaning back they've got their sword out and they're ready to strike if they have to so they're basically uh, being very defensive and it's clarified by the four of cups the four of cups is the card of uh, rejection so you're telling this person definitely no and uh, we have uh, the seven of swords clarified by the five of pentacles in the outcome and the seven of swords is a card of a cheater this is a card of a deception and I think this is that person who is trying to get back into your life they're trying to lure you away from your existing uh, significant other but uh, like I said uh, it's gonna be a no-go for them the seven of swords is clarified by the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is a card of uh, somebody who feels left out in the cold so you're leaving this person you're leaving this ex out in the cold the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck I think that's also their energy this is a card of a sadness depression and uh, misery <laughs> right so I think it's just way too late for them you are really happy with your current boyfriend your girlfriend or your significant other and uh, you will probably even think that this person is crazy but they could be I don't know but I think it's uh, mercury retrograde kicking their butt all right cool let's talk about your work your business and your finances Leo this week we have the Sun we have the tower clarified by the nine of Pentacles we have the knight of Pentacles we also have uh, the magician clarified by the ten of Pentacles and we have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo or Capricorn 
this spread threw me off a little bit to be honest with you Leo um, we've got the tower and we also have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck it's a it's a bit controversial even for me the three of swords on the bottom of the deck this is a card of a heartbreak or this is a card of a devastation right then we also have the tower in the spread but the tower is clarified by the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is an excellent card to have for uh, this type of a spread when we talk about money or business or finances so I would just have to assume that the three of swords this is a card of the past or this is a card of your current state of affairs or this is uh, the way you're feeling right now about your work business and finances with the three of swords right you feel sad you feel like uh, the end of the world but I think this week it's going to turn around for you and it's going to be very unexpected because the first card that came out is the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's also about clarity. Then the, we have the Tower that I've already mentioned and it's clarified by the Nine of Pentacles so I would just have to interpret this as um, money or abundance or a new job out of the blue. You're not expecting this to happen. The Tower is that unexpected factor and the Nine of Pentacles is a card of abundance. If you take a closer look at the Nine of Pentacles, that person is surrounded by uh, coins and this person is standing up in this uh, lovely uh, garden, you know, they've got a bird. <laughs> uh, this is a card of somebody who is um, abundant in their finances, right? They've got their coins in a row. The next card that came out is the Knight of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is a very sizable chunk of change coming your way. It could be a new job offer, it could be a business loan approved if you run your own business, or it could be um, new orders coming in, or this is just money coming into your life somehow, right? In the outcome, we have uh, the Magician with the Ten of Pentacles. And I don't usually do outcomes for work, business, and finances spread, but I had to because, like I said, the Three of Swords is uh, controversial. So, yeah, the Magician is a card of manifestation. You've been manifesting this change, this money, this abundance into your life, and here it is. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician, is uh, abundance or money, right? So, I don't know what exactly is going to happen this week, but you definitely have some money coming in or some kind of uh, abundance in some shape or form that will improve your financial situation. Um, my word of advice for you is don't take the spread for granted if you still have to, don't just sit back and relax and wait for it to land on your lap. It could happen, but if you're working on something, keep working. If uh, you're applying for new jobs, keep applying for new jobs and uh, eventually this will happen to you. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Leo, this week. We have the Eight of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, and uh, we have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It really reminds me of the couples spread I did for you a few minutes ago, but it could be uh, somebody else. As long as this person is coming back from the past, and uh, they will offer you uh, to either get into a third-party situation, or they will offer you something <laughs> shady. Um, so, the first card that came out is the Eight of Cups. I think in this spread, this is somebody coming back from the past. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater. This is a card of a deception. This is a card of somebody who sneaks around. And that is the type of the person that's coming back from the past. And the Three of Cups in this particular spread is all about a third-party situation. So, that's what they want with you, especially if uh, you are already involved with somebody else. They won't, they won't care. <laughs> they still want you. The two of uh, pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is either you trying to f decide what to do with it, but most likely this is you thinking to yourself, what made this person think that you would even consider doing something like that, right? The two of pentacles could also represent this person and uh, by that I mean they're a juggler, they have more than one person in their life, more than one person they deal with, right? So yeah, this is what you're not expecting and uh, hopefully this um, spread is an advice for you. If uh, you have any doubts about this person's intentions, then uh, they just want to have a little fun with you. That's pretty much it. 
All right, Leo, so that's what I got for you for this week. Hopefully it resonates. And uh, other than that, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.